Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. They opened a new bin store. This is the fifth location in Houston. Chris will flip the world. The manager invited us out to the grand opening. We're about 10 days late, but we definitely made it out because we are the king and queen of the bins. Let's go ahead and get inside and see what they have for us. <sighs> Tom Toms. I don't know if they're worth anything. It's in the locations I usually visit. And sadly, it seems like mostly clothes and hard goods and what we got cooking. If these were Crocs, they'd be good. Real tree Crocs usually sell. Stacy just dumped all of those for us to go through. And then I just picked up this like body glove wetsuit top. So we are finding some things and it looks like they're uh, about to move out a new row. So we'll see what they got coming up. I think they've been open about 10 days. So nice to have that new bins look. They still seem to be operating under some kind of rules. And that is awesome. That old school claw machine game and they have some other things over here these are all individually priced though honestly get rid of this and probably put another row of bins in hey look it's stacy so in about two minutes they're going to bring out a new row so that gives me two minutes to go through these carts. So I found four brand new Sonic employee hats. Now we used to sell a lot of employee shirts for fast food restaurants. Uh, typically because it's cheaper for an employee to go buy them on eBay than it is for them to actually tell the store, the restaurant they work for that they need a new shirt and then they deduct it from their check. Usually it's like 40 bucks to deduct it from their check. You can go on the line and usually get them for about 20, 25 bucks. But I'm gonna look these up just because there's four of them brand new. They still have the, the little paper inserts. But two minutes to a new row, so let me get on this. Kind of vans, kid size. Again, you know how I am. The toes look good. Those are keepers. I am not a fan of dress shoes. Are these D-Lights? These are just lightweights. Uh, it's the bin, so I'll at least look them up. Usually D-Lights is what I'm looking for. These Asics have a lot of toe jam fuzz and pretty worn down, so we'll go ahead and chunk those. You're, seeing, you're not seeing it off camera, but there's a bins next to me that I'm throwing these all in. Some old man dad shoes. Oh, gigantic. Heel tear. Always check the heels. And of course, if you haven't watched any of our videos, you got to do the bend and twist test. Check those. Okay, Brooks. Got a hole right there. So it's going to be a no go. Plus, you can't smell, but they are horrid. Oh. Sonic Veg Tots TCT taking care of tots, little Elvis, that's hilarious. I have no idea what these are. Brahma steel toe. 
These are like Walmart steel toe shoes. And that's a negative. There we go. H2O repels. Oh, just missed the new row coming out. These are actually in really good condition. Twist test. All right, those are a keeper. Oh yeah, another tot. Chuck him. Got some New Balance figs. Minus shoelaces. These look good to me. Ugh. Some hair in there, but. Singular boot, so I have to go back. This is a low grade Wilson glove. And Torrid, Torrid shoes are cheap. Torrid clothing is where it's at. So that's our process. Again, I'm gonna look those hats up. I did find a pair of Sperry's, but they look like they've been warped or melted or something. So they still have the price tag though. So I don't know, I might, no, you, I don't know if you can see that, but they're pretty heavily warped. I really don't like to mess with anything that I have to try and shape. Even putting those in, in shoe trees for a couple of days isn't gonna take that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this new row, see what the scavengers have left for me. That's right, we have barefoot running children. What is Nickelodeon Slime 2-pack, brand new. Definitely look that up. What is it, like hair gel or something? Oh, body wash. We'll see what that is, might just keep that. Stacy found this beautiful Screen Stars, Panama City Beach, single stitch, like damn near see-through. It's got a nice stab wound on the back. Now, if this was in a store, I'd say no, but we are getting this faux show. And then we've got some other stuff. She's real big on Wolf, Native American. I don't think this is vintage. Um, I don't know if you heard her, but she said she's keeping it, so it doesn't matter anyway. Books are like three for a dollar. This is heavy, but let's go ahead and look it up. So for books or anything with a barcode, you just hit that scan. So it already does not look promising. 21 results, and let's go to solds. Four solds. Yeah, 16 bucks, 15 bucks brand new, eight bucks. That's a pass. Mark over here. I usually just pick stuff up that's new in a box just to look at it. Just went ahead and scan the slime, and it looks like it's coming up, you know. 15, 97, 13, 10 plus 9. So about 15 bucks shipped. Again, probably keep it at the house, but it is cool to see some Nickelodeon slime body wash. Uh, Stacy found an entire sleeve of these Sonic hats, so I'm gonna go ahead and look these uh, light blue Sonic employee hat. Yeah, I spelled employee wrong. Let's see what comes up. A lot of Seattle Supersonic stuff comes up like that time, so gotta change that. Employee, still spelled it wrong. Y'all are making me nervous, you're not even here. Let's just do Sonic Employee hat. There we go. See what I'm saying? $14.99, $19.99, $9.50 plus five shipping, $38 for the green Christmas one. So these hats will sell. I'm probably not gonna get the entire sleeve. But I might get a few just so I can do a follow-up post or something later down the road to show you. But usually employee stuff sells. Walmart, Burger King, McDonald's. Anytime you see any of that employee shirts, jackets, hats, they do sell. I found a pair of Rock Revival, all bedazzled and jeweled up. I'm hoping these aren't men's. Not that there's anything wrong with it. If you watch Seinfeld, you'll get that. But we'll go ahead and look these up. Rock Revival, and they are Denisa Strait. 
$27.99 plus $8.50, $30 plus $8.50, $39, $40 plus $8.50, $35. So, yep, definitely a winner winner chicken dinner on these. Alright, these two Tom Toms, they're both the same. Their model number is 4ETO3. Again, I don't think GPS stuff sells for much these days because everybody has a handheld computer. But let's go ahead and look it up. E T or wait, is that what I said? Yeah. 4 ETO. Alright, well, 20 bucks, 12 bucks, 12 bucks, 10 bucks plus shipping, 12 bucks. Here's the other thing no cords and no way to test. So it would be kind of one of those add is things. But if I lotted them together, I could probably get maybe $15, $20 shipped. So that's below my actual average sale price. So I am going to put these back. But just know that you can lot stuff. But again, untested electronics. Is hit or miss and stacy just brought me this heavy head of the virgin mary from the museum metropolitan museum of art vatican collection probably not worth a lot of resale wise wrong uh well cancel that apparently 120 this says 150 plus shipping 125 135 174, 112, 155. So we actually are going to be reselling this. And that is, once again, an amazing find by the beautiful Stacy. The world. Flip the Stacy and Stacy. I don't know. I'm going to flip her later. That's for sure. TMI. TMI. So one thing we do pick up a lot is jam store backpacks. And then as we get closer to like school year, we try and go to as many bins as we can and just get any backpack in good condition that we find because we like to try and donate them to schools that kids might not have backpacks. So Jansport though, they usually sell pretty well. This is one of those multi ones that has a million different little carrier pockets and stuff like that. So typically for this in used condition, you're looking right around 20 to 25 shipped. Again, we just pick them up. And those vans that I was looking at originally, I couldn't figure out what this castle was because I don't watch, again, nerdy stuff, but then it was revealed to me that these are Harry Potter kids vans. So that is awesome because I think there's a new like Dumbledore movie coming out. So, nice. Let's see. Vans. Harry Potter. Zip up. Kids. I don't know. Oh, there we go. $29.99 plus $8 shipping. $24.99 plus $11. So these are the skate with an eight high top Hogwarts metallic. Awesome. There you go. Stacy coming in again. Old Nike. Great tag track jacket. Definitely gonna have to get an oxy bath. Long live your laundry. OxyClean, the stain specialist. But again, this will probably be 75 cents, maybe. It's worth trying. If anything, I can do a video on trying to clean it. All right, usually coochie pants are where I go. I'm probably gonna take a, uh, a gamble on that because that is an awesome print. And got tiger stripes. Sorry, Roger, you tiger now. Sorry, Roger, you tiger now. Still waiting on a new row. So I thought I was filming, checking out and pushing the cart to the car, you know, for B-roll and everything but apparently I had switched the GoPro to Max Photo. So instead of the footage, you get awesome blurry photos like this. But anyway, the manager gave me the Virgin Mary for $5 flat instead of charging me $10.29, which what it would have been at $1.19 a pound. It came out to eight pounds, 65 or 0.65 ounces, which at $1.19 is like 10.29. But because he saw my GoPro, he was like, how about five bucks? Thanks for coming. But you can't see that. Cause again, blurry photos. Amateur. On you. Oh, this is all the actual stuff that's for resale. Obviously, we always do 
the personal stuff first and then I have it ring it up first. So the first four pounds and 65 cents or $10.18 of today's total $52 was actually from personal. So 11 items for resale. So we subtract that 1018 from our total, which gives us $41.82. Go ahead and divide that by the 11 items for resale. So today's average buy cost is $3.80 per item. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run you through and show you what I think everything is gonna be. So the Harry Potter vans, that's gonna be probably $35. The Kuji shirt, anywhere between $20 and $30. The Rock Revival jeans are going to be one of the big stars today. That's gonna to be between 35 on the low end and 50 on the high end this single stitch panama city shirt on the old screen stars tag because of the rip in the back realistically this is just going to be like a beach shirt but i still should be able to get 25 30 bucks for it converse kid shoes let's just say 20 bucks converse adult but these are actually some older style so i'm probably 30 bucks again this vintage windbreaker zip up windbreaker from nike it's pretty stained but i am going to do an oxy bath on it and i might do a video just showing you um, how clean i can get it or if i can get it clean at all but if i can get it clean realistically you're looking at 35 to 45 dollars for that as you already saw the main attraction today was our lady of guadalupe or the virgin mary head from the metropolitan museum of art this is going to be, we're gonna probably price this at 200 and accept offers and hopefully sell it for around 175. Uh, Nike Free Run 5.0 H2O Repel. These are some fancy looking shiny running shoes, size 14. Realistically, again, comps are for red. I don't really have any black, but these are reflective for at nighttime. I don't know if you can see that on the toe box. It kind of reflects, but should be able to get about $40 for that. Backpack, again, we always collect backpacks Jan Sport's a good brand. This is one of the fancier ones that has all the nice bells and whistles. Again, if you see the ones with the leather bottom, that's gonna be what you really wanna look out for because those are gonna be more than likely vintage and those sell for 40 plus. So this is probably gonna be a $25 backpack. And these Ni Nike, these New Balance Figs 996s are awesome. I do not have any used or pre-owned sold comps to pull up in this colorway. But here's a pair of new ones, $100 plus 20 shipping. So these are definitely an awesome pickup. And of course, whatever color laces I need to have, I have them in stock. You should so. be able to make about $500 off of these 11 items. Again, our buy cost per item is $3.80. So factoring in our last Goodwill haul, old video, you can check it right there. I say old, but it's still this week. Realistically, we've spent maybe an hour, an hour and a half total in two bin stores. We spent 75 the first day, we spent 52 today, and potential to make over a thousand. 550 from the first haul and 500 from this. So that shows you that you can go to the bins on your lunch break. You don't have to be there all day like the vintage kids. You can just go for an hour, find profit, go back to your regular nine to five, and then when you get home from that nine to five, go into hustle mode and make yourself some extra income. So this week alone, going to the bins for two stops, we should be able to bring in about $1,000. Now you do that every week and eventually you get to the point where you realize, I wanna be a full-time reseller. That's the video, like, share, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.